Hello and good evening. Today the topic for discussion is an common entity which physician or nephrologist encounter in the OPD renal concretion. Patient and attender might be apprehensive. The report not came as stone, but the font usually mentioned as bold and the impression probably they give as renal concretion. So what to do next? What are these renal concretion? You will see here. This is the sample report of an ultrasound whole abdomen. You can go through the report and focus on the kidney. On the right kidney, they are marked as normal size shape and all. In bold, they are mentioned as few tiny concretion measuring up to 2 to 3 mm. On the left kidney also, they have marked the same measuring 2 to 3 mm at mid pole. In the impression, they are mentioned as bilateral renal concretion in the previous uh, report. This is an another sample report where in the impression it is mentioned as bilateral renal calculi. Multiple echogenic foci causing post-aquastic shadow noted. Size is approximately 9 mm at mid pole. In this report it is mentioned as renal calculi. Whereas in the previous report, it is mentioned as renal concretion. So to understand the renal concretion, we should know in the kidney, there are various types of stones. Common being calcium oxalate, calcium phosphate, uric acid and the stuvite stone. Any stone before it is being formed, as you see, there are minerals, calcium oxalate, calcium phosphate, uric acid and whatever the type of stone may be, it is based on the hardened mineral composition. So the stone formation goes through the series of stages. Finally, the stone is formed starting from the concentrated urine. In the kidney ultrasound, usually the kidney echogenicity if we compare it with the hardened mineral, it will appear somewhat white or we can say hyper echogenic. Whereas stone once well formed, it usually leaves a echogenic shadow and it will attain the morphology of the stones. Before the formation of stone, the stage is renal concretion where the density is not similar to a stone, but the, these are the hardened mineral deposits. The deposits started sitting inside the kidney. If adequate steps are not taken or the urine, if it is concentrated, it might change into stone. So as you see in the report, few tiny concretion, even they could not uh, very difficult to assess how many are there. These are just appear as a uh, area where you will see hyper echogenic foci. Even very difficult to mention size also. Media time, if the size is more than 5 to 10 mm, they usually mention it as stone only because the concentration is so thick, morphology of a stone being formed, they will mention as stone. In situation where these kind of seed like structure is distributed over a particular area of the kidney that time they will mention this terminology concretion in few reports these values might not be there few tiny concretions are noted so in the impression you might get these kind of report bilateral renal concretion as an example so you can go through the report so as an example, if it is a kidney, look at the echogenicity, how good the kidney is. It is very good, the medullary echogenicity is clear, 
this kind of sometimes for an example i'm saying this kind of in the real time ultrasound you can change the probe and look at the characters of the stone at least the characters of these hypoechogenicities it is a flim or the photo taken from the ultrasound just for reference i am showing this kind of hyper echogenic lesions very very small not attain the density of stone that can be called as renal concretion so what are these these are nothing but the hardened deposits of minerals and salt most commonly formed in the concentrated urine or whenever there is any particular high concentration of a mineral for example hyperuricemia when the urinary calcium is high this kind of mineral will get deposed and even hyperphosphatemia a patient taking drugs which causing dehydration these are the conditions where urine will get concentrated and if the patient urine forming agents are more than the sorry you stone forming molecules are more than the stone inhibiting molecules which stone inhibitor for example citrate in the urine if it is less this also lead to formation of these kind of hardened deposits of these minerals and the salt most commonly being calcium oxalate so obviously next question come whether it is harmful as such renal concretion usually disappear if the hydration is good and if the patient doesn't have any high risk stone former criteria hyperuricemia other parameters are there and if in a routine checkup for the back pain or as a routine ultrasound abdomen examination under this kidney uh, finding came as a accidental finding renal concretion doesn't have any major impact just increase the hydration that's that is more than enough suppose a patient is having symptoms of ureteric calculi because in the ultrasound you can't detect the ureteric calculi only ct will detect if there is a recurrent symptoms of ureteric calculi and in the kidney you are seeing signs of mild dilatation of the pelvic calcis system along with concretion that might be a clue of a ureter stone so ncct kub might be required so if the patient is accidentally find to have this concretion or if there is no gross symptoms nothing much to worry increase the hydration concretion will disappear and is there any cut off to say stone to say as concretion no it is a subjective finding the interpreter or the radiologist or the nephrologist who is doing the ultrasound if they feel it is not that much concentrated to call it as a stone they will mention as a concretion it is a purely a subjective finding there is no theoretical cut off at what level you have to tell ideally less than 5 mm mostly they will mention as concretion more than that they usually mention as a stone so this is all regarding renal concretion i hope you got a bit info regarding this we will see in the next video bye bye